we are going to be looking at volume. Now when we talk about volume, volume is the three-dimensional space taken up by something. So in this case, I wanted to look at these coffee cups. So if you notice, all of our coffee cups are different sizes and different shapes. Okay. So I have aligned them from what I believe is going to have the least volume to the most volume. Do you agree with the setup that I have? If you don't, that's okay. Um, I was looking at these two, and if you notice, one is taller than the other. However, this one has a smaller base at the bottom, and this one has the same size as the top, so the base doesn't change. So that's why I thought that this one might have more. It could be equal. We're not sure. So what we're going to do is I have gone ahead and I have said there's going to be a fill line. I'm going to be looking at how much water can I fill? So each of these have a fill line of one centimeter. Because we don't want to ever fill a cup all the way to the top, it makes it very difficult for you to be able to drink out of. Okay, so I'm just going to fill all four of these cups up with water and then we are going to measure and see which one has the greatest volume. Okay, so now that all of my glasses are full of water, I have a couple of questions. I want to know which one has the most volume, but I also want to know by how much more volume does it have. So behind each of my cups, I have four uh, cups that, sorry, behind each of my coffee cups, I have four cups that are all the same size. So when I pour the water into them, it will we'll be able to show me how much it is because they're all the exact same. So this one I have gone ahead and I have labeled. This is a measure at four ounces, six ounces, eight ounces, and 10 ounces. If you notice, the lines are getting closer together. And the reason for that is because the bottom of it is smaller and as it gets higher towards the top, it gets wider. So therefore, we have more space for that water to go. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so that's my first two cups. And it looks like this one might have just a little bit more, if not the exact same amount of water. Okay, this one was definitely had more water in it. Whoops, spilled a little bit of that water. And the other one is definitely bigger. So, this one had more than 10 ounces, as well as the next one. The next one also had just a little more than 10 ounces. That 10 ounce mark is one, two, three, four lines down. So one, two, three, yeah. So if we go on to our next one, we can fit about 10 ounces exactly into it. And the last one is just over 10 ounces. Okay, so between these two cups, there was not a whole lot of difference there, if any at all. And then there was a quite a big difference between these two coffee cups. I hope you enjoyed and come back to see other lessons.